Yeah, I think these illnesses really need to understand more. I remember in the 80s, um, I know I, do, I just don't look as old as I am. Can you believe I was alive in the 80s? Um, people talked about ME as a sort of yuppie flu, you know, it was just sort of moaning. But it is, you know, it's an illness and it's serious and completely disabling and debilitating and means people can't follow their heart's desire and do what they want to do. And there's, I think the thing about chronic illness is people say there's a daily grief to it. There's a daily sense of disappointment. So all that you're feeling now, if you haven't experienced chronic illness, of the disappointment of, of all that you're missing out on because of the lockdown is what people with chronic illness deal with every day. Every day there's something to miss. Every day there's something you want to do that you can't. Um, every day there's isolation and loneliness. Every day there's a feeling of when's it going to end. I think that's another thing that's really important and that people can relate to now is, oh, if I it would be manageable if I had a, an end date. Well, chronic illness doesn't have an end date. There's no kind of clear management strategy. It's not like when you break a leg and they say, okay, you need to be on crutches for six weeks, then you need to rehab for six weeks and you, you can go, okay, I can dig in for that. With chronic illness, it's an endless um, battle, I suppose, or an endless attempt to accept a different life to use to, to, to the one you so desire. So, yeah, I just really hope that after this, people start to look out or for those who might be suffering